Hey everyone, I just wanted to make a video outlining the maximum life and defense in Blaze of Battle. What does it look like? Um, what are some strategies uh, for doing that? And where will you get the most bang for your buck as far as building a defensive So let's talk about equipment. Um, here are the three most common ones that you'll see people wearing. Of course, it used to be Force Shielder and then Marvel, and then Justice was released not too long after Marvel, um, which is presently the best defensive set. It has 20% less troop life than the Marvel set, the Justice set, but it has 100% more troop defense. So most people sit in Justice, plus it also has a little bit more attack, so that uh, works out well. Um, the Supreme sets, of course, you're going to be looking at a good 300% more troop life and a good 50% more troop defense over the Justice set. Um, and so if you, of course, they are different for attacking, um, but as far as defense goes and troop life, they're identical. Um, these numbers also don't include what you get from the set uh, equipment research tree that I'll talk about in a little bit. So if you're looking, you're like, hey, I know that this is a little bit higher. Justice should give 330 and 430 uh, um, life and defense, respectively. But yeah, that's because, um, or 340, uh, respectively. But that's because uh, you would be including the set equipment research. But I've, I've taken that out and separated it here just so you can see the benefit of the research. So what kind of research are you going to get? What kind of boost are you going to get? Well, there's the combat tree. And so that's going to give essentially the, the, the same as the attack, but it's going to give racial life and defense. So that's going to be 272% uh, human life and 272% human defense. Um, and then, of course, the dragon tree. If your dragon's there, you get a 45% boost to life and defense. The savage combat tree also gives the racial boost. And then an additional um, total life and total defense down at the bottom. Uh, so after you unlock T, uh, T4 savage troops at the bottom, there's a little extra boost for you. So, uh, And then in the march tree, that one it was a lot nicer for attack, but life and defense, there's only two researches in the whole tree that boost that, which is 75% to both of them. So the set equipment tree, this is where the numbers again start getting big, just like they did with the attack. So what kind of numbers are we talking about? Well, first of all, doing the full set bonus with normal armor, so getting all of those to 10 out of 10, that's going to give you 100% troop life and 30% troop defense. Um, and then whenever you do the full set bonus with those, each of those is going to get you 15% additional troop defense once you get them to 10 out of 10. And then um, I would recommend before maxing out those, unlocking the special set bonus. It's a really easy way to go ahead and get 75% either life or defense. Or you can get a mix. So essentially, you can. It's just random what the special set is. If you haven't played around with it yet, you can either get three troop lives, three troop defenses, or two and one, or one and two. Um, so some kind of mix of that, and and then um, and then you can boost that by getting you up to an extra 375% troop life or troop defense. So essentially, what does that look like in total? Well, you can have some kind of combination of this. So if you're looking for a maximum life. Uh, type of uh, combo, then you can get up to, as I have in parentheses there, 550% troop life and 60% troop defense. Or if you went full defense, you could have 100% troop life and 510% troop, troop defense. But maybe some kind of mix, uh, depending on what kinds of crystals you have, might be beneficial. And then the elven combat tree, um, of course, you have the racial boost, and then you get a nice little 200% boost to life and defense at the way bottom after you unlock Elven Tier 4. And then we have the crystal set. So that one's really interesting, um, of course, because you can't have a crystal set for both. So it's, it's a little unclear, or it's just a little, well, not unclear, but just simply you can either go full life or full defense or a mix of crystals. That's essentially the point. Um, however, you do get the 400% bonus at the bottom after you've done all of the hard work for the crystal set bonuses, uh, which takes a lot of resources and speed ups to go through. But once you do that, you get rewarded with a pretty sweet reward of 400% life and 400% defense to all troop types, except for siege, because nobody cares about siege. Uh, but anyways, so you can end up with the crystal set up to 785% troop life and 400% troop defense, or vice versa.
So then there's the equipment power-up tree. That one, uh, the, the, fir the first couple researches are super nice. Um, that's a quick 100% troop life, unlocking power-up plus five. You 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 just get 122% troop life. Like, like do that if you haven't. It's really good. Um, and then if you get power-up to plus 10, you get another 20% life or so, 17.5 and then 85% troop defense, and then going up to 15, which you'll eventually do anyways, um, doesn't give you as big a boost for life and defense because the power up 15 unlocks an attack boost. But anyways, you do that, and then the other researches, of course, are the combat gear basic power-ups. So each one of those, it gives 100% boost to the basic power-up, which means that you essentially get 63% troop life and 42% troop defense for each one of those you do. And then the other boosts you get from the tree is the troop set power up plus five. So that will give you an extra 262.5% troop life and then the troop set power up plus 10, 175% troop defense. So in total, you can see that, that, that this power up tree gives you 619% troop life and 413% troop defense. So if you don't have crystals, this is much better than the crystal set tree. If you do have the crystals, the crystal set tree is going to outperform the power-up tree in this section. Now, of course, you eventually do it all, but um, uh, that's just kind of a rule of thumb here. Um, as for crystals, well, of course, you can just have a life set or a defensive crystal set, which is similar to the attack bonuses. So you can basically get up to 546% total life or 546% total defense um, or some kind of mix. Um, another idea that a lot of people do that I put in the middle is because it can be difficult for many players, unless you have purchased a lot of packs, to have too many troop life or too many troop defense crystal sets. Um, so what you could do instead is you can have a troop life crystal one and defensive crystal one and the, or, or vice versa, and then use an amplifying crystal. So essentially you could have a level nine life crystal one in slot one, a level nine defensive crystal one or level eights, but let's go with level nines. And then uh, a life crystal, uh, level six, life crystal one, and then you'd be getting 66% troop life and 40% defense per item. And that's pretty good. Um, it's almost as good as having a crystal set but it's still not as good uh, as having the complete crystal set. So, so you know, that's, it is what it is. Um, it's a nice, it's a nice mix though. And it's very, a lot more accessible for most players because you're going to have a lot of life crystal ones and defense crystal ones. And you get the amplifying crystals by doing the city booms. So, um, and then of course the level nine crystals, you can get up to 140% with those. So anyways, how about as far as dragons go? Well, there you can just go through and see the list. I'm not gonna spend much time here, but just point out that uh, dragon level 66, if you're not there, that is huge, 300% troop defense. Uh, so you will be rewarded for going through and doing that. And then as far as city skins um, and dragon skins, well, city skins, the ghost house, again, is superior to all of the other ones. And uh, give you 50% to life and defense. And then the fort obviously gives 300% uh, to both of those. Uh, Thunder Dragon will get you 50% life and defense. And then you can have uh, ground life and defense or mounted, which is nice. Uh, but then really your best kind of overall uh, might be the Nightshade or Ice Dragon that gives you 15%. But maybe it's better just to sit in a Purpura Toxin or Skeleton Dragon skin if you have them. Um, it's debatable whether 100% ground life is better than 15% uh, to all of troop life. So anyways, how about knights? So there's a lot of knights and a lot of information on this page, and I am not going to read them all, but essentially I've broken it down into the ground boost. You can go ahead and pause the video if you like. Um, and then the range boosts, the mounted boosts, and then those that give all life boosts and all defense boosts. And so I was curious, I was thinking through this um, a lot and said, what is the best five knight position combo? Because you're not, it, let's say you're getting attacked. It, it doesn't matter what knights you have to send out. It matters which ones you have posted in your city. So I was thinking, I want knights that are on two, uh, at least in two of these uh, different categories here. So for example, uh, oh gosh, bleh, 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 bleh. Let's just look at Doris. How about Doris? So Doris is here on the, um, so you see here, 
here there's Doris and Doris again. So there's Doris in two places. So there you see Doris. You get a, a, a Doris life boost and a Doris defense boost. And Doris also boosts your attack. So Doris is a great choice. I didn't say his name, but he's there. Blue, blah, blah, blah. Okay, he's another great choice. Um, and then there's Findus. So Findus is interesting. He, uh, some players will have him. There's Findus one. I should have chose a different color, but then there's there's the other Findus here. Um, Findus will be a great one. He also adds 400% ground attack. You might want to save Findus for attacking um, and, and just simply uh, post these knights. So for example, Elaine, a nice one here. Here's Elaine here. And then you also find Elaine. Where is she at again? She's up here. It gives you 100% mounted life. And then of course you have um, Retainer Elmo that gives you the 100% uh, all life. And then Elmo up here gives you 100% ranged life. And the nice thing about uh, Bloberus, Doris, Elaine, and Retainer Elmo is in the attack video, I recommended posting them in, in your knight positions because they also give 100% troop attack. So essentially that allows you to go ahead and, and save your best attacking knights to really stack the boost whenever you're sending them out, uh, depending on the troop type. So if you're sending a ground attack, you get the 400% attack from Bloobarus, Doris, Elaine, and, and Elmo being posted, and then another knight. And then you can go ahead and stack up the ground attack, like if you sent Alarak, Findus, um, uh, and then the other ones, I can't remember. Asteria gives 250% uh, ground attack, I think. So anyways, what does this look like? Well, in total, if you had these five knights, let's say you go with Findus. Um, the first five I've listed here. Other options, if you don't have Findus, you could go with, you could just go ahead and grab Asteria. Um, the reason I, I said her is because you can see her up here. She gives a, a, a life and defense boost. It's only to ground, but she gives two defensive boosts there. Uh, Lucan here, uh, he gives life and defense. And then, of course, Gawain gives mounted life and defense as well. So that's why I put them there as well. You're going to want to go ahead and post people that are giving you multiple buffs at the same time. Um, plus, those knights also add to um, ground attack, ranged attack, and... Uh, mounted attack. So they both get all give 250% to their respective um, troop types. But anyways, if you had the, the five here, you would have 475% troop life, 120% ground life, 100% mounted life, and 625% troop defense. If you had Bloberus, Doris, Findus, Elaine, and Elmo. The, that's the five best knight combo out of the knights presently released. Um, uh, other bonuses, of course, that you have, um, oh, attack bonuses, there's a typo, why? I caught almost everything, I used the same, so this is supposed to be life, life, and then defense, that's so hard to write, okay, life and defense bonuses, uh, hospital, this is ridiculous, but technically, hospitals give 7% troop life, so you could have up to 18 hospitals, <laughs> that would be, that would be that would be kind of funny to see it just for, for myself. But you could do that. It's not a lot of troop life you get. It'd be better to have actually more troop training buildings because those give 17% troop defense at level 26. So if you really stack those up, you can have up to 21 uh, troop training buildings because um, you have the four and then you can have 17 extra. Um, and that would be pretty cool. That'd be up to 350% troop defense. It'd be a lot and you would, you would have a massive training capacity if you had that many buildings, uh, which would be kind of cool. You'd still only have one siege building, don't worry, but you would have five of, of each of the others at level 26, so that's a lot. Rally field, I mean, this is almost insulting to me. Um, like, if you're getting rallied, and, and the rally field, I mean, I get that the buildings, like, this should be like, I don't know, 200% rally troop defense or 300% at level 26. It takes a lot to get to rally field 26. I went through and did that uh, last week. It was really painful. Um, well, I mean, it wasn't that painful. It didn't hurt me, but the resource wise, it was very intense. Um, and there's a lot of buildings you got to get at max. So that's really insulting to have 25% boost to that, especially because people who have it, I mean, they're already well into the thousands and thousands. So 25% is nothing. It, it should be much bigger. Then, of course, VIP adds to that. Uh, holding dragons, it gives attack, but no life and defense. So I probably should have just deleted that. That's fine. And then as far as executing dragons, you get 50% from a level 26 altar. And then the dragon skill, it only gives an 85% boost to life and defense. So 
Um, essentially, you're not going to be getting a lot for executing dragons as far as life and defense. You get a much bigger attack boost. But if you get to the bottom of the power up tree, you get a nice boost from executing dragons now. A 300% boost to troop life and a 200% boost to troop defense. So that's really nice uh, to go ahead and squeeze those out at the power up tree. So technically you can add those to the power up tree if you've executed a dragon, which pushes the power up tree to actually be much stronger than the crystal set tree overall. Then you have various titles and things. So what does this look like? What, what is this looking like whenever you add all these up? Well, um, with a defensive justice gear set, if you want to try to maximize troop life, you're going to look at getting about 4,000% defense and 5,400 troop life. So that those are kind of like some maximum types of numbers. Um, and it's going to be really hard to go ahead and hit you with that combo. If you and, and by maximum troop life, I mean I have seven troop life crystal sets and the crystal uh, uh, special set bonus set, or the, the, the equipment special set bonus pick to three life but you can have some kind of mix and of course uh, maximum defense if you will we'll go ahead and, and look at something like this you have now of course you can get almost up to 6,000 defense but then if you have the thunder dragon in the fort or supreme gear you can add even more to this so essentially you can almost get to 6,000 percent life unless i miss something well yeah there are other bonuses you can get that i haven't uh, talked about here but you could get basically up to 6,000% life if you had Supreme Gear and the Seven Day Fort Rebellion skin and a Thunder Dragon all going at the same time and everything else in the game. So um, essentially that's kind of what you can expect if you're going to hit a completely maxed out account about 6,000% um, troop life and 4,000% troop defense. Or you can flip that around. Um, and if you went ahead and asked, well, what if uh, you went ahead and focused maximum defense? Well, you can go ahead and add, we can add these numbers to this. So then you're going to be looking at around, you know, about 40, 4,500 life, uh, 4,500 uh, life. Um, if you went this route. So that's pretty nice still. And then you would have well into the 6,000. So what would that be exactly? Um, oh, about 6,300 defense. So 6,300. So that's pretty much it. That is everything that I could think of. There may have been a few things that I missed um, throughout. Um, now, of course, if someone, if you have this bonus and then someone comes in in Soul Gear, uh, reducing your life by like a thousand, then yeah, it's good to have these numbers as high as possible, basically. Um, so anyways, that is everything. Um, if you liked it, uh, great. Hit a thumbs up and share it. And um, uh, let me know if you noticed anything that I missed or made a mistake of. I tried to get everything, but there's so many, so many possible numbers to add. It's possible I missed something somewhere. So anyways, uh, take care.